you actually said something really interesting, which you talked about how the delay uh, will increase costs. It's the exact question that comes up here, and Luxon gets a bit pissy. And he almost, almost goes, well, why didn't you talk to Labour about that? Almost. He stops himself, but I can, you can tell it's in his brain. Have a listen. Well, the Last one, guys. Why well, the government suggest to retrofitting the hospital then? Uh, repeated studies have shown it be more expensive and take more time to do. What yeah, look, again, available? well, all we're doing is uh, we've had a project blow out from $1.2 billion to $3 billion, appro approaching $3 billion, and as a result, we're doing a very quick taking urgent advice about whether we do stage at the old facility or scale back at the new facility, uh, new site. Uh, we'll look at both those options. We'll come back with a decision very quickly. Sorry? Wouldn't delay Already done costs, that. Sir? Sorry, say that again, Mr. Cushion. Wouldn't delay increase the costs? Wouldn't delay increase the prices is the question. Uh, well, again, we're going to move through that process very quickly, but I think if you felt that way so strongly, oh. um, maybe over the last six years, oh. uh, we could have seen a lot more progress. Oh. So um, this is a government that's going to get things done. He nearly said it. If you felt so strongly over the last six years, you could have asked Labour a bit, but he pulled himself back. Didn't quite go there. We're going to build a great hospital. We've got to do it for $1.9 billion. It'll be then one of the most expensive hospitals in the Southern Hemisphere. Oh. That's it? One of? Oh, okay. What? Did he, did he get a word in his ear between the two? I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, but we're determined to build a good hospital here, period. But we have to do it within the budget. We cannot be in the situation that we've inherited where we have a $600 million project for ferries that blows out to $3 billion. We have 450 school buildings and projects that end up being underfunded by billions of dollars. Uh, we have a hospital here that's blowing out to um, approaching $3 billion. We'll get it right-sized, we'll get it sorted, uh, we'll, build, we'll, get, we'll get good value and we'll make sure we build a good hospital. So uh, there you go. Um, Luxon gets a bit pissy about the delaying of course, but he's completely right. Do you think if we went back to Hyundai today and said, can we have those boats again, it'd be the same price? Of course not. Of course it would not be the same price. There you go, Joey. There's, there, I, I rest my case. Your chance to chew it up now. I, I, I saw the figure bandied around that the report that these these guys have commissioned cost the taxpayer three over three $3,500 per page. Like in, wow. in, all of this stuff has has costs and, and and this is one of the things like this is why projects always get scaled down right they come through what do you need cool this, where are we going to do it this is what it looks like i oh, don't know if we're going to get away with that we'll scale it back scale it back scale it back scale it back like these guys they probably want to cut the remit on a new hospital Maybe mm. if we scale it back, it'll get done quicker. But the fact <laughs> is that they're going back over their own words and their own planning. Re retrofitting the old hospital was ruled out really early because it is leaking. The building is at the end of its useful life 20 years ago. Yeah. I read a story today of they were operating on a dude and brown water started coming out of the roof and they had mm. to basically throw a sheet over him Ugh. and move him to another theatre halfway through operating on him. What the fuck are we doing? Let, like, let me... He wants to play games of, no, we're going to blame the other guys and Dunedin's being greedy. If they get yeah. everything that they want, then Nelson doesn't get a hospital. They want to play us off against each other nobody has ever complained wow this hospital cost a lot of money but god it's lasted us decades and decades and decades my son was born there and my grandkid was born there and it was been so good my friend's wife gave birth there across the hall there was a room that was barricaded off for asbestos contamination <laughs> For fuck's sake, has he stepped foot in that hospital? Mm. Has he gone to talk to the people that have to work in it? I would say no. Like 35,000 people marched for this, and he just seems to want to brush it away and go, oh, I'm just as frustrated as you guys. No, you fucking aren't. No, you're you don't not. live here. You won't use this hospital. You're not on a waiting list for anything. You don't have a friend or family member in here. You're not as frustrated as the rest of us.